Hey guys, Mr. Undy here. Recently on Twitter, I posted a picture of my purified XL Electabuzz. Uh, Boy Ghost, being the beautiful man of spice that he is, asked the video in. I said Wednesday. It's now Friday. Normally I like to do one or two short videos of a team or a Pokemon doing fun stuff, but I wanted to try commentary. So let me know what you think. These battles are, you know, various teams. I tried to do, get some battles from different sets, trying different teams, see what worked. Unfortunately, I don't like to feature videos that have a tremendous amount of lag, which I'm going to be honest, I got quite a bit of in the first few sets. Um, it only started to stabilize during the later the uh, evening when I was playing. So here are those battles. The Pokemon on the right will be the other team. The Pokemon on the left will be the featured one. You can see their names, IVs, and movesets. Uh, and if you have any other questions, holler out in the comments section. Let's get to those battles now. Alrighty, so first match here, got a Tangrowth on Trevenant, not a very good lead, so I swapped immediately into Magneton because Seed Bombs will only be doing resisted damage, which still is a lot uh, for a Seed Bomb to do against resisted damage. Magneton is pretty glassy, um, but I'm able to get that first shield with the Magnet Bomb and do a good amount of health. Uh, just bring back in Tangrowth and tank Shadow Ball, throw a Rock Slide, and I think I'm able to get the final shield here, get the final shield. And then I bring in my Electabuzz to uh, start building up energy, uh, throw the Thunder Punch, because they, they clearly do not want to switch out uh, versus that Tangrowth. They bring in their Talonflame, and Electabuzz does very well against Talonflame. Uh, able to throw a Thunder Punch, uh, build up a little bit more, throw another Thunder Punch, and then immediately throw another one. They've got a Polyrath in the back, very cool pick. Uh, and force them to throw the Ice Punch out of fear of the other uh, the second power, uh, Thunder Punch. Uh, able to bring it down with a Power Whip. And then onto the second match here. Tangrowth onto Polyrath. Get some le uh, lag at the start here. Uh, able to catch the Ice Punch on the Electabuzz. And then start building up uh, to a return here. Uh, this Meganium should have knocked me out there if they were fully XL'd. Uh, but they are only 22-21. Uh, return definitely would not have done that much if they were fully XL'd out. I wish them luck in getting XL's for that thing. I really wanted Chikorita, but Chikoritas ain't too common, unfortunately able to throw a couple magnet bombs here, get uh, them shields, and then I'm able to catch on Tangrowth. They have Polyrath, and I think they forgot how much I actually farmed up, and then I'm able to rock slide down on this Incineroar, do a good amount of damage, gonna shield up this Flame Charge, and throw a second rock slide. And then when they bring out their uh, Magneton, uh, Chik of the Magnetium, not Chikorita, uh, get the knockout with the Magneton. On to the next battle here, Tangrowth on to Empoleon. My whole team does pretty well against Empoleon, provided they don't get the Drill Peck on the Tangrowth, which, spoiler alert, they do not this entire match. Uh, throw a Magnet Bomb, and then get a little bit of lag there. Throw a second Magnet Bomb. Probably could have gotten to a third Magnet Bomb, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but lag, lag bullied me there. Only way to describe it. So, able to absorb the Drain Kiss here. Tangrowth is decently bulky here. Uh, able to throw the Power Whip, and gonna catch the second Drill Peck on the Electabuzz, and take nothing. Farm up, and then they have a Nidoking in the back, very awesome pick, uh, able to throw the Return, and then I, ta I uh, let the Sand Tomb go in, uh, throw the Thunder Punch, and I'm just... Oh, so close! So close! And then they are able to Sand Tomb me down. Uh, Tangrowth gets another Vine Whip in, throw the Power Whip, let a Charm through on accident. And then just barely able to squeak out a win with the Rock Slide. On to the fourth battle here, and I forgot about Giratina entirely. Uh, Giratina does, does pretty well against this team if it's the Shadow Claw. This is a Dragon Breath, so luckily if I align my Magneton onto this thing. Uh, but I'm going to go straight Rock Slide, do as much damage as possible. Um, and it looks like they are a single move Giratina, which very good for me. Uh, and they bring out their Swampert, and they don't expect this return, and it does a solid amount of damage. Uh, able to survive this Hydro Cannon, I'm gonna throw... Nope, I don't get to the second Thunder Punch. They force them to throw energy because they are scared of the electric move. They probably would have lived a Thunder Punch there, though, which honestly would have given Tangrowth more farm down. Um, wouldn't really matter here, but here I am able to get to the three consecutive Magnet Bombs. Throw, 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 and take out the Sylveon here. Alright, and coming up next here, we have one of my favorite Pokemon I've ever built, uh, Steelix. Steelix is a ridiculous tank. I usually don't shield him, although here I do. Uh, so I got the Electabuzz on the uh, Sceptile lead, didn't like that, so I swapped into Steelix. 
and they swap into Cresselia. Uh, I don't know if this person is unfamiliar with Steelix, but Cresselia is not a Steelix counter. <laughs> Steelix has a very, very mean, bullying relationship with Cresselia. And Giratina, too. You'll see that later on in these battles. Uh, able to get the shield with the crunch, and then take this first Leaf Blade, and I'm going to shield the second one. And then I'm going to throw the return. Nope, I'm going to swap out to Excadrill because they threw the Sylveon out. Able to get a drill run, and then able to get to a second drill run, get the shield here. And then I'm going to go down uh, to the charm, throw the Thunder Punch, take out the Sylveon, and then throw a return for the win on the trap. On the, uh, <laughs> I want to call this uh, Trevenant, I don't know why. On to the second battle with this team, got a um, Trevenant lead. Do not like that. Trevin, it kind of beats my whole team uh, if they protect it. Luckily, they don't shield the first one. They're going to shield the second one, though. Throw on the Seed Bomb, undercharge it so they can get a few more Shadow Claws in, and then I throw out my Steelix. Steelix does better. Um, they have the Swamper here. I shield, throw the Crunch, expecting them to shield, for, uh, fearing the Earthquake, and then I throw out my Electabuzz back out here, take the Sludge Wave, and then throw the Return. Do a good amount of damage there, and I'm almost able to get to the Thunder Punch, but not quite. Um, take the Seed Bomb, and then take the Shadow Ball, and then they have a Wall Rain, and I know the game's over. Um, Steelix normally does pretty well against Wall Rain, not, you know, one-to-one -one perfect, but still pretty good. Uh, got, it's got a uh, Swampert on lead here. Do a Thunder Punch first, get a good amount of damage in, take the Hydro Cannon, and then I throw the return because they were trying to farm down, not fearing anything. And I'm so close to being able to take out that Swampert. Some uh, PD Poke says I should be able to, but I guess it just depends on IVs. Uh, they throw out the Giratina, and I throw out the Steelix. And um, what do you think they have in the back? Because I did not expect it. I was trying to rack my brain like, what, Cresselia? Uh, Dragonite? What? They have a Tucannon. This beautiful, beautiful person is running two cannon in the Ultra League, and I have utmost respect for them. I should have quit this game, but alas, gotta get that Stardust. I've gotta build some Pokemon. Alright, so lead Noctowl into Togekiss here. Uh, don't like that, so I'm gonna swap into my Electabuzz and force him to switch, knowing that Magneton is a much better counter to uh, Togekiss. Throw the Thunder Punch, and I'm gonna be able to tank this Night Slash, I believe. Yeah, and then throw a second Thunder Punch and four Shields here. Um, and then just not quite able to get to that second or that third Thunder Punch. Uh, Noctowl doesn't care. They swap back into Togekiss, and then I have the Magneton in the back, which Magneton does a... does pretty good. Does pretty good against the Togekiss. Um, Magneton is just a fun pick in general. Uh, electric types, I think, are really fun in the Ultra League, and I think this battle showcases it pretty well. Yes, you've got Giratina and Swampert, but you also have Talonflame, and wall rain, uh, and you love to see those with the electric types. Uh, catch the dark pulse on the noctile and farm down with wing attacks. On to the next battle with this team, and we've got uh, noctile on Grisalia, a lead you like to see. Uh, I'm gonna swap out though. I don't know why I swapped out. Um, they swap in the Venusaur, which is not a not exactly a Magneton counter. I don't know if they know this or not. If Venusaur someday got Earthquake, then it would be a pretty good. Uh, Magneton counter. Uh, so I'm going to farm down with wing attacks. And yeah, sludge bombs will hurt, but not as bad as they normally would. Uh, and then they throw out the, I didn't catch that, wall rain, able to throw two shadow balls, and then I'm going to bring out my Electabuzz. And I'm going to shield out of fear of an earthquake. It's an icicle spear, and then uh, throw the second thunder punch. They shield. So I think, oh, they're probably going to throw the earthquake now. Nope, they just icicle spear. Now here is something that I didn't realize I wanted to see until it happened, which is thunder punch uh, Electabuzz absolutely clobbering a Cresselia. Um, I'm able to force them to throw on the Noctowl because they might have. They, they probably feared I was going to get to another Shadow Ball. Uh, thunder punch and another thunder punch. So. I like the buzz just going to town on that Cresselia with Thunder Punches. Alright, on to this third and final battle heal. We've got Noctowl versus Aggron. Uh, I, do, I need to build an Aggron myself. I love seeing it. Um, they, they This guy respects the return, and I respect that. I respect their Aggron and return respect. Um, so I'm going to bring in the Noctowl and farm up just a bunch of energy. Oh no, I thought I would I probably should have undercharged that, but oh well. Uh, they're going to bring their Aggron, obviously, so I bring in my Magneton. And Magneton just loves seeing Chris uh, to Primarina. 
uh, and I'm able to spam out these magnet bombs before the Agron is able to get to too many moves. I don't think he, he might get to a charge move here. No, he does not. Uh, so win with the two shield flex. So what are my final thoughts about Return Electabuzz in the Ultra League? I don't think you should build him. He is slightly tankier than Electivire, but he does not have the coverage. Uh, he <laughs> Regular Electabuzz is also way worse. He only has Thunder Punch, Thunderbolt, and Thunder. Uh, so you definitely want to get the Return uh, purified just for grass and ground coverage. So, yeah, just run Electivire. <laughs> if, if Electabuzz were to get Cross Chop or maybe even Psychic, you know, he could be pretty good. I think Electivire needs Earthquake. Um, that'd be pretty cool. But that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I will be probably uploading another commentary video with uh, the most toxic team I've ever made. Uh, somebody on Twitter wanted to see these battles that I, I did, and they are. I, I absolutely bully people. It's, it's not okay. It's not good, but it's hilarious. Um, so uh, look forward to that. I, I might even be uploading it later tomorrow, Sunday maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, see you guys later. Bye.